Hello, I'm Dana. Let me pop up down here. All right, so I'm Dana. Um, tonight we're going to learn about resetting Windows 10 passwords with Trinity Rescue Kit. So what makes this important is that this video is resetting the Windows 10 password where previously Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7 passwords were a little easier to reset. And I've been doing some searching, trying to find uh, the best tools to use with Windows 10 that will reset a password because the tools I used to use for Windows 7 don't seem to work all the time. So we're going to give this a try and see what happens. So just bear with me for a minute. Okay, so I did a Google search for Trinity uh, Rescue Kit. And... I'm bring something over here for a minute. So I did a Google search for uh, Trinity Rescue Kit and uh, the page popped up. However, when I click on the link, it doesn't seem to want to load. So I don't know if it's um, the site is down or what's going on. I've been to it uh, previously, but just tonight it doesn't want to seem to load. So that's where you typically would find the site. Um, tonight I was able to find on MajorGeeks.com they have um, a link to it with a download and this is where I downloaded it tonight. Um, I've downloaded it before but it's an older version. I went to use the newer version which came out in um, 2000, October 2006. It seems to be the new version. Um, and just as I was talking um, look what popped up in my other web browser here. So Trinity Rescue Kit. So it did pop up. This is not where I downloaded it. It looks like it has um, uh, the latest issue was from 2016. I might say 2006 or earlier. So 2016 was the latest version. And obviously it works with Windows 10 because I tried it earlier tonight and it worked fine. So let's get rid of uh, this web page. What I've already done is downloaded the ISO file. If you don't know what a ISO file is, it's a disk image. So you can download it as um, a CD disk image or a USB image. And then the way you run it, you burn it to the CD, you reboot your computer off of the CD, and it will boot up into a Linux operating system. And then from there you go through these um, series of command lines. Um, it's not that hard. I'll show you in a second. So let's go ahead and get rid of major geeks here. But the first thing I want to do is to show you that I'm actually putting a password on this um, computer. So you don't think I'm just pretending to do something. The way this works, it actually removes the password. So you can't retrieve the password, you just remove it. So if you have a PC that you need to get into, you don't, you don't, um, you can't think and click at the same time. Uh, you don't uh, change the password or see the password, you just remove it. So let me change my password here and Now my let's look at sign in options here. I'm forgetting how to set a password. So password. So there is no password on this account right now. And I'm gonna click add. And it doesn't have any password, so And the password, I don't care if you see it because I don't use this, is Kishwaukee. So Kishwaukee is the college where I teach at. And I have that one misspelled. And let's try that again. So Kishwaukee, Kishwaukee. So I'll click next. And next time you sign in, I will need a password. Change my password. So I have a password. Let's wait for this to finish. And 
And let's just go back one spot to show something else here. Let's click on this again. So what I wanted you to see is that the local account, the administrator account I'm going to log into is Dana, the tech teacher. So let's close this. And so what I'm going to do is I told you that I downloaded that ISO file and then you burn that to a disk image. Well, I, I'm using a virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is go up to my uh, VMware or VirtualBox uh, devices and my mouse is outside the window here, but it says optical devices and it says choose an image and I'm going to choose the Trinity Rescue Kit. Uh, you can see the other um, images I have. Earlier I tried uh, OPH Crack, uh, the Vista version for Windows 10, and I couldn't get that to work. And then I can't remember what I used here. I'll have to look that up. But uh, the Trinity Rescue Kit is what I've used. So I'm going to click on that. And what I've done, I've kind of virtually put a CD in my CD drive. And you see that popped up as if I just put a CD in my computer. And now when I reboot, I'm going to reboot, and it's going to boot off that CD and run off the CD. So next thing I'm going to do is just hit, um, well, let me hit start and restart. So I'm going to power down my computer, hit start, and restart. And this should take just a second. And when this restarts, it will boot into the um, it'll boot into this window, which let me go ahead and move this down here a little bit. So let me move some things around. So it's booting into Linux right now. And like I said before, I'm using um, uh, VirtualBox with Windows 10 installed. I guess I could tell stories as it's booting up, but my stories get kind of boring. So Trinity has several tools. It has um, like, a, like a virus scanner. Um, I don't know, there's like 15 different things it does. The only, the only thing I've used it for is the reset passwords. So it has a, like a disk cleanup tool, kind of like, like CCleaner. Um, some other things. I guess it's already booted up. I didn't realize it. So up here, um, I move my mouse right here. So what I want to do, I want to go to the Windows password resetting. So I just use my down arrow key to get to that. And I'm gonna when I, once I get to that, I'm gonna press the enter key. And now I want to what I want to do is go down to the interactive WinPass and press enter. And it, what it did, it found it. Uh, it found the the partition where Windows is installed. So it only found one. So I'm just going to press Enter, which would be the default. And now it says down here. It says, "What do I want to do down here? Do I want to edit my user data and passwords, which is one? So I'm going to press one." And that is what I want to do and press enter. And now what you see down here are my user accounts. So I have an administrator account. There's one called Dana, which apparently doesn't have a password. And then Dana the tech teacher, which is um, admin account, 
which has a password and some other default user accounts so let me it says um simply type the username of the account you want to change so let me type in dana the that's what the right tech teacher and press enter and number one here says what do i want to do so what i want to do is just clear and blank out the password so the next time i log in there will be no password for this so I'll press one and then press enter and it says right above here it says that that password was cleared and I found what you have to do here is press exclamation point to quit and press enter and then I'm back to that page so I want to type in Q to quit and press enter and then it's going to unmount these hard drives that I mount to and then I'm back to that page and then I'm done so now what I want to do is take the CD out so if this is a, a real machine and you you burn your ISO to a disk which would be a different tutorial um, you would take the open up the CD tray take the disk out so what I'm going to do actually now is if I can get my mouse cursor out of this window. That's not what I want to do. So, all right, finally did it. So I want to go over here and click on what on mount the images. And now, so what I did is basically I took the CD out of the tray, but I virtually did that. So next thing I want to do is um, restart the computer. So I'm just going to hit reset, and this will restart my uh, virtual computer. And since I took the disk out, it should boot into Windows 10 this time. I'm going to move my screen a little bit here. So we put a uh, password on it and if everything goes right I should be able to get to the account uh, dang the tech teacher account without any password and I, I've tested a few different uh, products out there this is the only one that I've gotten to, to work in Windows 10 there, there may be others Usually when I find something that works, I, I quit. I'm happy. I go, okay, this works. Why keep looking? And this is free. Um, Trinity Rescue Kit is free. Now, when I've done this before, when I did this before, it ran a, a check disk or a system disk or a scan at the beginning of the boot up. So I don't know if that was just... Um, something that was related to the set, resetting the password or just totally related because maybe I I, I reset the uh, virtual box without actually shutting windows down so it might have did a, a system scan because of that Once again, I'm lost for words. It looks like it's booting up. So, as this is booting up, just a reminder um, I have a Facebook page. Go to Facebook, search for Dana the Tech Teacher. Uh, YouTube, my, my videos on YouTube. Go to YouTube, search for Dana the Tech Teacher. Find me there. And I hope this video was helpful and like I said at some point 
people forget their passwords and this is a good tool that works um, just just one more thing you have to find a machine that a Windows machine to download it and burn this to before you can use it of course if you're locked out of your Windows 10 machine you can't use this uh, or if you don't have a CD drive or if you have a laptop with a CD drive you can't use it so you have to like do the USB method of burning it to not burning it but copying it to USB you just don't copy it you have to like uh, bring down a different tool so that you can make that USB bootable and then boot off the USB drive those are kind of beyond the scope of this video but maybe I'll make a different video on how to make a USB bootable with this product on there for a later video so okay now I'm rambling so that's it so catch you later